If you're curious about the new update to Android 16, then look no further. I have the QPR1 update installed on my Pixel 9 Pro XL here. And beyond the Material 3 expressive changes, in today's video, I'll be showing you every single new feature and every single new change that I've been able to find so far. So let's dive right in. First up, when looking at the notifications shade, quick settings panel, the app drawer, recents menu, and the key guard, you'll now see a blurred version of your wallpaper and its icons as the background. The lock screen has become a bit more compact where the clock has been brought up a bit closer to the status bar and the date and weather have moved to the right of the clock instead of being directly underneath it. You'll notice that Google has added some physics-based animations, like the spring animation that you see with the notification cards that resist a little bit and then spring forward as you continue to pull them. And long pressing on the power button now shows a spring animation when you pull up Gemini, as if you're squeezing it. The main page of the settings application now has these colorful icons. And you'll notice individual sections within the settings app are going to be more distinct with different colors that make them stand out. The status bar of Android 16 got some love as well, with the clock now showing a more bold and slightly larger typeface, and many of the icons received a new redesign as well, including the battery icon. Google was able to redesign the wallpaper and styles page. As you'll notice that the lock screen clock settings are now grouped together. And when customizing the clock, you now have rounded and sharp font styles to pick from. Something that I believe many people will miss because it's just not that intuitive to know that this feature is there. You can resize that default clock. All of the wallpaper settings are found within the new wallpaper studio section. And it will pull down images from Google Photos if it finds any that are a good fit. We've got a new look for the volume panel. As you'll notice, these sliders are going to be less bubbly, and they all have a handle to help show exactly where that line stops, while also being visibly easier to grab and slide them. The Material 3 expressive update to Android 16 also completely redesigns the quick settings panel. These tiles are now resizable and you can now toggle Wi-Fi and Bluetooth with a single tap. You'll even notice that the tile editor screen is more organized with actual categories. And each of these have an individual plus or minus button to make them easier to add or remove. That way you don't have to play the tap and drag game if you don't want to. This update also brings a revamped desktop mode that functions similarly to Samsung DeX. I'll have some B-roll playing here to show you what it's like but I'm actually wanting to create a dedicated video about this really soon. So I'll have the rest of those details for you soon. We have this new feature called Live Updates that has just launched with this update to Android 16. 
It's said to be Android's version of the Live Activities feature from iOS. And we're told that these are special notifications designed for prominent places of your status bar, lock screen, always on display, and even your regular heads up notification card. Support for the feature is said to be very limited right now, with Google Maps being one of the few apps actively testing it, but many are expecting ride sharing and food delivery applications to adopt the feature in the near future. Google Pixel phones are finally getting proper AuraCast support with this new update, meaning Bluetooth audio sharing is now included without needing to mess with the developer options menu. And you can find these details from the settings app within the connected devices menu. You'll see audio sharing right there. The at a glance widget at the top of the home screen now takes up less space. So you now have an extra row of icons on the home screen if you wanted. There's a new feature that allows you to easily check your enrolled fingerprints. If you're using Android's new Linux terminal feature, then you shouldn't need to worry about storage space anymore. This was previously limited to 16 gigabytes with a manual option to expand that storage, but now it has been updated to dynamically adjust the storage space available to that Debian VM. Android's screen magnifier will now let you zoom into the keyboard. The Recents page also received a new redesign, showing a drop-down menu right here. Instead of assuming that you knew to tap on the application icon to access this menu. And finally, closing apps from the Recents page is faster since you don't have to wait on the animation to finish for them to disappear and be closed. As you can see, there's a lot to see with the latest update to Android 16. Google was not kidding when they said they had plans to speed up the development cycle of their mobile operating system. Some of these new features are going to be exclusive to the Google Pixel series, while others will be included in the big Material 3 Expressive update that Samsung, Xiaomi, and Motorola end up rolling out. Let me know what your favorite new feature is down in the comments section below, and I'll see you back here in the next video.